We're here today on the shores of the Red Sea in the lower Hijaz Mountains to visit one of the newest circuits in the Formula One calendar. It's Jeddah, home to what we all hope is going to be a thrilling Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. An interesting circuit, this one, the newest on the Formula One calendar. And like most street circuits, it's sure to present the drivers with an interesting technical challenge. Some challenging turns for the drivers to negotiate as well. And at the same time, they're going to have to manage their tyres very carefully in this heat. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into Turn 1. It's all a bit like going into battle, and the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. The Rainmaster lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Ricardo, Lando Norris and Hamilton, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Gasly and Carlos Sainz, Joe, Sonoda, George Russell and Latifi, Ocon, Giovinazzi, Valtteri Bottas and Mick Schumacher, Mazepin and Lance Stroll brings the grid to a close. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway.
fastest lap of the race so far. Satisfaction to be had in overtaking like that. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be on the mediums. A new strategy is available on the MFD. if it takes too much damage. Tire condition is still looking good.
officials aren't looking to push for a safety car right now, just be careful. as well. What a spectacular season they've had. Congratulations to the whole team.
Tell me, Ant, how did they manage to achieve this win? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalise on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams. And they're certainly proving themselves. Let's have a quick look at how the driver's standings have changed. It wasn't the best weekend for our championship leader and their advantage at the top has been reduced. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Often my go-to would be a driver who's managed to pull off an especially impressive feat during the race. However, in this instance, I was more impressed by Max Verstappen's solid, clean driving throughout the event. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time? Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.